Good day everyone, I am Rosalie Inuk Marat, a BS and secondary student of North Rufba East Campus 1 and 2. Good day, ma'am. I am here to interview you for to ask you some questions as a final requirement for our teaching profession. But before that, can you please introduce yourself, ma'am? Good afternoon, I am Mrs. Rosa Franco Ramirez and I am 46 years old and I have been in the teaching profession for 15 years in the Department of Education and 6 years in the private, private uh, schools. Okay, thank you ma'am. So now let us proceed to the interview. Here is the question ma'am. So, first, how do you consider yourself as a teacher? Could you please explain? As a teacher, I consider myself as the mother of a child since from 7 o'clock until 5 o'clock in the afternoon they stay in school without their parents, without their mother and they know that in these times, during these times, we feel in the need for a mother to this child, to these students. Secondly, I consider myself as their guide, a molder of their dreams, as they shape their dreams into what they want them to become. We as a teacher, I prefer to be myself. I like that I am a part of their of their uh, future, of their what they are, what they will be in the future. And of course, I am the facilitator as a guide in and feeding the education that they need. Thank you for that very elaborate and informative explanation, Mom. So now let us proceed to the next question. So, which of the following have you given much consideration in your teaching? And why did this result? So, so, here are your choices, Mom. So, A, local setting, values, tradition, and culture. That would be this global scenario, international developments, 21st century skills and see local knowledge, values, culture, 21st century skills and international developments. So we say that as a teacher, we are a developer, we are the owner of the group. And as of this time, we call the this generation, the generation X, I guess. Well, yes, X. Uh, we look into the global competition and we look into the global uh, competition we start from the local so of course that is why in our lesson we have this what we call localized uh, curriculum so that our students will understand and when during in your lesson you will connect what will ha what happened to the community and connect them to your lesson so that they will have a feel of their, of their being part of the community and with that to the skills that they have enhanced during our teaching process because as of today and in today's uh, generation we do not only think of their education of the academic on the words the letters but we also look up to the skill with this to the skill this will lead to the global and of course the values that we need to impose them the values we need to instill because values are very important especially that nowadays our students are very exposed to social media. In social media, they will accumulate a lot of uh, attitudes and behavior that are not uh, acceptable in the community. So, if I may so, I may be an old school teacher, but respect and the good values are always there. And we need also to preserve our tradition because it is that we are what we are today because of what our folks have taught us. So we have to cherish and be grateful 
for the for those people that we came from. Thank you for that, Mom. So let us now proceed to the last question. So where you are teaching and what do you like most? Teaching here in local or in abroad and why? At present I am teaching at Patino High School. It is a newly opened school here in the Panay's Division. And of course, as a Filipino, we have, I prefer local because local talents are great talents when we go up there. And so that was a very um, elaborate explanation that you have given to us, Mom, and I am very thankful for that. And that would be the end of our interview. Thank, Thank you so much. Congratulations, Abdullah, on your studies. Thank you, Mom.